Hello, everybody. This is Abraham with Not Sure Computer Services. What we got here today is the Lenovo Smart Clock, and we're going to be taking it apart. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I showed that it's been warranty replaced. This thing has not been working, so let's see what's going on here. Just like the phone, you take it apart by peeling the front glass off. Thankfully, this one is not as fragile as Microsoft Surface. There is glue all over. You gotta warm it up a little bit and just use guitar pick to go around and peel the front glass off. As you can see, I have pre-peeled it. You will see one connector in here, and if you move the display in this fashion, you'll expose the screws that hold down the connector. For that, we need a Phillips head screwdriver, and a smaller blade. Let's get a smaller blade in here. Okay. As you can imagine, this device doesn't really have a whole lot of electronics in it. We're going to do a total teardown of this radio, uh, internet clock, I should say, whatever, smart clock, it's, they call it. Um, the devices are made by many different manufacturers. The idea is the same. We got um, touch screen and the LCD all in one. Not too much different from a phone. I don't know if this is just a light sensor or actually there is a camera inside. God knows they put all kinds of stuff in there. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve screws in here. The little S inside, come on, is, uh, I guess, security. So they know you've taken it apart supposed to disintegrate upon touch but it's tough enough that you can take it apart nice is that all the screws are the same they're all Phillips no particular difficulty in this situation another nice thing is uh, Lenovo is using a standardized power supply this power supply will um, charge computer if you have it a uh, lenovo computer not every lenovo computer but uh basic standard stuff that's gonna charge i've tried it it does work come on i like when companies are not going overboard with complicated disassembly um this thing is not really repairable, not because it's assembled in a way that it's not repairable. It's not repairable because not much to repair. Um, however, in this particular case, I'll be honest, I have taken it apart before. Um, I found the problem. So the clock wasn't working originally um, took it apart and I'll show you the there was an actually solvable problem uh, this thing has plenty of um, ele electric connections inside and one of the connections got loose I'm not sure how 
these things get loose, but apparently they do. And I've seen this happen uh, in my videos on uh, uh, webcams that sit behind the uh, glass in laptops. And uh, so there's all kinds of ways and reasons that the connections become loose. Um, on this particular device, it doesn't really get moved a whole lot. It just sits in one place. We got all the screws taken out. I'm going to push this out. Or do that. Yep, that's all that's needed. There. Um, might want to push it a little softer, but mine is irrelevant. Uh, the problem with Lenovo is that if you get it warranty replaced by Lenovo, uh, if you connect, even if this one, this one started working afterwards, if you connect it to the internet, they will lock the device. Um, I had that happen to one of the customer's devices. They uh, had something warranty replaced then they brought it here, took it apart, found that there was a similar problem where a connector was loose. And uh, sure enough, <clears throat> when we connected it to the internet, as soon as we connected it to the internet, the device became locked. So if you have it warranty replaced, <laughs> don't connect it to the internet if it's a device that can work without it. All right. This one cannot work without the internet. So um, This is the connector that was actually loose right here. Somehow it wiggled itself out. I, or maybe it corroded a little bit. I pulled it out, put it back in, and it started working. Just like with a lot of electronics, basic problems are or I should say problems are basic connections. This is your speaker connector. This whole thing is a speaker. <laughs> and the other one's a power connector. As you can see, there isn't much to this device. And this is a weight. It's not lead, I don't think. No, steel. Nobody uses lead. And uh, that's the power connections and USB connections. So the USB gets connected through here. So when I peeled it away, it's not really easy to put it back together. It can be done. Uh, the way to put it back together is this has to be peeled off. This has to be taken apart. Let's do that. And uh, first you connect all the uh, wires and then assemble the unit. Okay. I like screws. I like when there are screws that can be pulled out and the device can be taken apart and if not fixed, at least examined. Looks like one of the screws got stripped. I don't understand why. Okay. This one's fine. This one's fine. Oops. is being difficult. Unscrew. Cooperate. Let's take a different blade. It's 
slightly bigger blade. Yep. Always helps. So the power connector is a come on screws is a separate unit. The data connector is a separate unit. That's the switch that turns on and off the microphone. And uh, that's it. So we have a speaker. It's nicely made. Uh, we have the speaker that is properly done so it doesn't wobble, so it gives good basses. This is bass. Um, the whole unit is assembled nicely. You know, it's, it's well made. We got the speaker, power connector, data, motherboard. That's about all there is. Two screws hold it on. Probably some glue on the other side. Looks like these are microphones. So these two are microphone arrays. And let's take this apart. This, I'm curious if it's a camera or if it's a a light sensor and uh, we should be able to see that if we see how many wires are going into it how busy that connection is Microphones are held in there nicely. Let's see. It does not look like a camera connection, although I should say that there is plenty of wires, but not enough for camera. So there is Looks like two wires going to that, two wires going to that, and uh, two or three going to here. Uh, for a camera, especially that it doesn't have a processing chip on it, it's not enough. I say this is a um, light sensor. It does not have a camera inside. But with new developments in electronics intelligence you know these these guys can use a light sensor to determine certain things and uh, invade your privacy with a light sensor I'm sure it can be done somehow there are things that I see that are happening that make no sense how they find out stuff. Some stuff I see popping up in my ads, I only thought about it. So somehow Google and Facebook are in your head. You know, there is quite a bit of connections here. So it's if it's a light sensor, it's definitely not a basic light sensor. Might have some basic camera capabilities in it. So there's, uh, looks like three or four on top, three or four on the bottom. And uh, don't know what to say. Might have a basic camera inside with really, really low resolution, just to see what you're doing in the bedroom where this clock is sitting. 
All right, we got everything taken apart. I like how they uh, put you know, the sound so that nothing vibrates. So they got this rubber things all over the place. And uh, they got the uh, gooey liquid everywhere to make sure that it's not vibrating. I like it, well made piece. Not sure what this is. Some kind of. Oh, these are buttons. Okay, these are buttons. These are these buttons. How interesting. Uh, at first, I thought you have to peel this off to get to the screws, and I did, and there are no screws in there. So, don't need to peel that off. There's nothing behind here or there. Uh, it's basically slightly press fit in there. And the whole thing is held by the display. All right, here we have it. Should we put it back together and see if it works? Okay, let's see if we can do that. All right, we are going to put this in. Right here. Going to put this in. You know what? Ah, we don't need to put it back together all the way. We can do it like I like to have my computer's guts on the outside. The, when you take it apart and put it back together, that kind of determines re repairability of the item. If you put it back together and it works, the item is considered repairable. There's not many parts in here, but still, it does have few parts, and those parts are repairable. Let's see. I need to put this in. It might complain, but all I'm looking for is that it starts up. Let's put this piece of rubber back on. I'm putting no screws in, just just reassembling the electronics. And I'm not even going to plug in the speaker. Speaker is not a smart device, so if speaker is not plugged in, the clock won't care. Let's pick it up and plug it in. Let's see if it works. Yes, no, there, see, it works. So for those that want to modify this thing, oh my god, I just had a vision. So, if you don't want your clock radio to be in this form factor. You can take it apart, connect it to like other speaker, just have this in place. In fact, this part isn't even necessary. 
doesn't really do much. Well, it turns on and off the microphone. This would be... Uh, not sure why. This, this is what I noticed. It was really dark. I can't make it lighter. But in any case, this works by itself as a standalone. How about that? Wow. Ah, hmm. My thoughts are going through my head on how this can be implemented into a different piece of equipment. Oh my god. This can be easily ah, used somewhere else. Let's put it this way. Just this piece. Um, initialize it and uh, for those that love to tinker with stuff this is a really cool thing that you can do with your smart clock radio uh, that cost new I think it was $30 last Christmas and uh, you can incorporate it into some other device, some other something, and brag to your friends that you have made a super modification. None of this stuff is needed. This is all that's needed. This whole thing is integrated. I just didn't think of that when I was taking it apart the first time. I was just looking to see if it was fixable. And that's all that was. You see? There it is. It does come out. So it could be a manufacturer's defect on the connector itself. That it doesn't lock in place. And see? See what it does? And that's what was happening. The clock stopped working because this thing wiggled itself out somehow. Well, at any rate. It is functional. Oh. That image became so big on the inside. I can see there it is. Oh. Oh. Brightness. Two. There it is. It was just not bright enough. Okay. Settings. Display can't connect to the internet. Hmm. I'm so tempted to connect it to the Wi-Fi here and see that it's actually going to lock up. Why is it not connecting? You know what I didn't see? A Wi-Fi antenna. Ah. So... Might be... The antenna may be incorporated into something else here. I don't see. Usually it's a separate-ish thing. There is a little connector for the Wi-Fi antenna here. Uh, it's probably in this circuit board. Oh, there it is. There's the antenna. So it's on board. Okay, can connect to Wi-Fi. Curious why it's not. Uh, it probably has to be set up through a phone. 
because that's how we originally set it up. It has to be connected to the Google Home and blah, 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 blah. It would be nice if you could actually make changes here. Yeah, it doesn't want to do anything until you connect it. OK. Got the idea? This is a fully self-sufficient unit. That's all there is. The rest of this stuff is buttons and speakers. Not needed. I so like this way of uh, doing things. Thumbs up for Lenovo. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Subscribe. Save money. If you like my video, give me a like. Goodbye.